to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means the world to me. Today I'm making a super fun and quick no bake dessert. Today I decided to make a Fruity Pebbles cheesecake. This is so beautiful y'all. It reminds me of Funfetti, but it is pure cheesecake and the crust to it is crushed up Fruity Pebbles. So if you love Fruity Pebbles, you are going to love this. The cream cheese flavor is so delicious and then the butter mixed into the Fruity Pebbles is so good. I promise if you guys love cheesecake, you're gonna love it and if you love Fruity Pebbles, you're gonna go crazy. There's no bake time to this recipe so it's super quick and fast and easy and it's also really fun. So if you guys wanna watch and learn how I made this Fruity Pebbles cheesecake, then please keep watching and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any more videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. So to start our cheesecake, I'm just gonna start by adding two cups of my Fruity Pebbles cereal into my food processor, and I'm just going to mix that until it's a crumb-like, sandy type of consistency. My food processor is a little bit smaller, so I had to do this about three or four times to finish my two cups, but you're just gonna wanna put that all into one bowl when you're finished. I'm just melting one third cup of butter and I'm gonna add that to my two cups of Fruity Pebbles and then I'm also gonna add a fourth teaspoon of salt and then just mixing this all together until all of my ingredients are combined and this is our pie crust and then I'm just going to be using my hands to mold my pie crust into my pie pan and I'm just going to make sure that I'm pushing the cereal up the walls of that pie pan because you want that pie filling to fit in there perfectly. Once you have your mold exactly like you want it, I'm just going to cover it and place that into the freezer for about 15 minutes. So while that's in the freezer, I'm just gonna start my filling, starting with 16 ounces of cream cheese. I'm just going to be mixing these two sticks together so that they form a creamy cream cheese and it's easier to work with. And then I'm just going to add in one cup of heavy cream to my cream cheese along with one cup of powdered sugar to that and mix those together until combined. I'm trying to mix after each ingredient just because I am doing this by hand and it makes it a little bit easier. So then I'm just gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. I used imitation vanilla just to keep this as white and light as possible. Then I'm just going to be adding in 3 fourths cup of buttermilk. And here you can see I am using a whisk because it made it a lot easier. It started to get a little heavy. And then lastly, you're just gonna add in a cup of Fruity Pebbles. You can do more if you'd like, but I didn't want it to be too colorful on the inside just because that crust is so colorful. Then you're gonna take your crust out of the freezer and it looks beautiful. And I'm just going to be adding my pie filling into that crust and smoothing it off on the top so that it is all one level and you don't want it to be uneven at all. Then I'm just going to be covering what we've made and putting that into the freezer and letting that sit in the freezer for about an hour. Once the hour has passed, you can go ahead and finish it off by garnishing some Fruity Pebbles on top. So I'm using my last cup of Fruity Pebbles just for the top. And I kind of went a little crazy with this and put them all over, but it's totally up to you. You don't even have to do this step at all. And then for the best part of baking, obviously, is the taste test. And that's all there is to this Fruity Pebble Cheesecake. I am so in love with this recipe. This cheesecake is so easy to make. Sometimes people get a little bit scared of cheesecakes because they are so decadent and pretty, but this is just pure fun. It's colorful. Like I said, it reminds me of Funfetti. This is just so cute and summery, perfect for any occasion. I hope that you guys recreate this cheesecake, and if you do, I would love to know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. If you have any questions, shoot them down below and I will reply as fast as 
as I can. And don't forget that all of my ingredients will be in the description box down below. So thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!